In Photoshop, if you're going to be creating, click New. And Film and Video up here. There's HDTV, 2K, 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to click Create. This is the edge of my canvas. This is my live action. And this box right here is my title save. Same thing as in Illustrator. This is where once your text is done animating and has resolved itself, it should fall within this area. Now, some of you had some brush questions in Photoshop. So I'm going to click the plus button down here to create a new layer. Click on my brush over here. This is my foreground color. That's my background color. Clicking X switches back and forth between the two of them. Up here is where I can change my brush. And over here I can change as well. Spacing, I do not want, I don't want that look. Now I'm just gonna want a normal brush for this. Let me change the softness a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna start making my black shape. That's looking better. Now it's more like a black shape. So let me delete that. Okay, so I've got a hard brush edge, which is what I wanted. Now I'm going to hit X and add a little bit of white to it. I'm going to hide that and close this. So I'm going to do my mixer brush. And for this, I'm going to want a nice soft edge to it. Your square brackets next to the letter P will make your brush bigger or smaller. And I'm adding the tone in where I want, in the direction I want. Just trying to soften those transitions into it. Keeping the highlight detail where I want it. Getting some shading. All right, so let's pretend this is the shading that I want. I'm going to call it Tones by double-clicking. We'll click the New Layer button. I'm going to add some color. I'm going to switch back to my original brush. I'm pressing the square bracket key to make my brush larger, and I'm painting on that new layer. And I've got the paint the way I want it. Now I can use a blending mode to keep the tones and get the style that I want. And lastly, I could create one more layer. I'll call this color. The reason I recommend separating your color and your tones, if I press control U, I can go in here and change that color while still keeping the tonal detail. That's the difference between splitting your color and your tones. I can always edit the color, keep that tonal definition. I'm going to call this stroke. So we'll pretend this is a stroke around your character. I'm going to go back to my normal brush, go back to black color, make a nice small line like you would see on a character, and put that over top on the stroke line. And we'll pretend that's my finished shape. So I've got my stroke on its own layer, my color on its own layer, and then my tones. You can create some very interesting artwork using this quick technique. And just remember to make sure you're in RGB, you go image mode, RGB. And when you've got your artwork looking the way you want, do a save as, save it onto my computer, save it to my desktop. And then once again, go to After Effects. I can double click in here, or go File, Import File. Here's my shape that I just made. Click the drop down, Composition, Retain Layer Sizes, hit Import. I'm going to want it to be editable, so I click on that, hit OK. Double click here to open it. And there's my stroke layer, my color, my tones, and my background, all ready to be animated or any effects applied to them. That's a quick overview, I'm going to hit save, of creating artwork in layers in After Effects, as well as Illustrator and Photoshop.